There are five impediments re revealed in the book of Revelation that seem seek to resist the power of the gospel. One of them is sin. When a believer becomes comfortable with sin, it is because the intensity has gone. When you can live side by side with sin, it means that the judging lamps are no longer operational. Because the judging lamps are that operation of God that makes you know that something you did is wrong because the Holy Spirit registers his displeasure. The moment the judging lamps are no longer operational, your state is a state of death. Oh, you are not following me. The second way by which the devil intends to master you is through the world. He wants you to be caught up in the systems of this world so that you no longer know the reason for your pilgrimage. The third way Satan wants to manage you is to make you a creature of flesh where you live according to the dictates of your flesh. The fourth way Satan wants to manage you is that he makes you only loyal to self. So if something will not um, give you direct benefit, you cannot be involved in it. And the reason why people get entangled with sin is because of their commitment to self. You will notice that the nature of the fallen man is wired into a commitment to self and the nature of the risen Christ is that he was selfless and so part of the dealings of the cross on your life is to break your commitment and your loyalty to self so that you can serve the living God in the fullness so we have sin we have Satan we have self we have flesh and we have the world all of these things are designed to quench your intensity and to bring you to the point where the judging lamps are no longer operational. Are you here today? And the Lord was moving through your life so mightily and suddenly one of these three, these five things came into the way and then your intensity was reduced to nothing. Jesus has a program even for the dead. What he does is that he looks for a way through which he can increase their intensity within. Just like the furnace. One furnace, but seven levels of intensity. So the question I'm asking now is, do you know the level of intensity you're operating? With your 30 minutes prayer per day. And you're hoping that your 30 minutes prayer will affect the demons of Kaduna. So your life is a civilization that is built on 30 minutes commitment in the place of prayer. That's the level of your intensity. And just in case you see darkness around you, it's because your intensity is inconsistent, is, is inconsequential in the face of the darkness of the land. So if we decide to burn low, Satan will camp with us in the same place and manipulate our fortunes but the moment the body of Christ decides that we want to burn at higher intensity you will notice that darkness will vanish by by free course so if God sees a dead believer what he does to him is he looks for an opportunity to increase the intensity the moment the intensity begins to increase your visibility in terms of perception begins to increase and that's why one of the signs of the overcomers in the book of revelation is that they have an ear not to hear what god is saying about their life but to hear what the spirit is saying to the churches some of you can even hear what god is telling you but you will need full intensity for you to be hearing what the spirit is saying to the church to the body of christ when last did, you, did God come to you to tell you what he wants to do in the body of Christ? It means that the average believer has become comfortable operating at a very low level of intensity. Samson was not a muscular man, just for your information. He was a lanky person like myself. 
But the moment that level of intensity is achieved, that no result comes upon it. There was no plan of darkness that Samson could not. When he was in full form, in the height of his intensity. So I came to tell you that as pious and sanctimonious and sacramental as you look, if only you could tune up your intensity level, you will be amazed what you can do to the kingdom of darkness. But Satan has used one of those tricks to tame you, to make you measured in your oppression so that darkness can stay side by side your life. We can generate a level of intensity in the Holy Ghost corporately as a body of Christ. And we'll come to a point where we realize that the thing that we're afraid of will become afraid of us. He said, just in case you lost your fire, he will not discard you because he has a hope that you will catch fire again. This night we want to pray. The prayer is simple. We're asking God, increase my intensity. So just like Samson prayed that God should allow his hair to grow again. We want to ask God, can you increase my intensity in the spirit? Increase my intensity in the spirit. Increase my intensity in the spirit. Increase my intensity in the spirit.